Yeah. Hello YouTube. Let's crack open a whole bunch of bone shakers. First up this one that I just recently cracked in a I think a weekly haul video or something. I still gotta get uh quite a few bone shakers. I have a ton of them loose. They have released this casting a ton of times. There's two new mystery cars that I need to get that come in the bags that I have not found yet. And there is uh, the ID one that just came out that I need to get that I do not have yet. I would love to complete this casting someday, but there are just so many of them. So, first up is a Hot Wheels Racing 2012 in black. Looks really awesome in the black. I did not have any of these loose yet. And I have a ton of loose bone shakers. Something tells me like 27 of them. This is a... I really like them open spokes. Really awesome looking in black. Then we got one from the Hot Wheels Classics. Might be the only Hot Wheels Classic bone shaker I have. But I think all these were released in five or six color variations. From 2006. Looks really good in this gold though. Really awesome. With the skull on the side. White letter tire or uh, white line tires, white walls. Really heavy. These have metal bases. Don't know if all of the cool classics did. Here's a mainline bone shaker. It has a metal base. I could tell just from the weight of it. This came out in 2011. Really awesome. And like a satin black with the eight ball and flames on the side. Gold gold rims. Really like this variation of it. They have released it with an open top way more than they have released it with a hard top. Do like the hard top version, I think, a little better. Here's a hard top version in red with flames. This was released in 2013. This does have a plastic base. Really cool looking red with flames. We got another bone shaker from 2015 or 16, 2016. Has a open five spokes again. Yellow with flames. Hot wheels on the side. Awesome. Has a skull on one side with flames. It says hot wheels on the other. We have a black one. It's like a satin black. Flames. So it's a color variation for the yellow one. Definitely like it in the satin black more than the yellow. Awesome bone shaker. Can't tell you which one is my favorite because I love them all. This one I know is on a short card. Hate to crack it because it's on a short card. But my bone shakers I collect loose. So it has to be freed. This came out in 2009 or 2010. The blister fell right off. It wanted to come off. It's like a satin blue with the number 6 on the side. 
and it has a metal base open top. And we have one in burgundy with the number six on the side. 2009 color variation. That's pretty close to my favorite for the day just because of the burgundy. Absolutely love that one. Then this is a really cool Redline Edition Bone Shaker in Army Green. Happy to add that one for the loose collection. Awesome paint scheme. It says something across the front visor there. It says Bone Shaker. Of course, they all had like these original looking red line tires on them. That one is awesome. And the last one I have to crack open is this 2006 first edition Bone Shaker and Satin Brown with gold interior and gold engine. Pretty wild looking. So first edition came out in 2006. Really awesome looking, this satin brown. Let me know what you guys think of the bone shaker. Let me know which one is your favorite. If it's a casting you like to collect, how many different variations do you have? Please make sure to like and subscribe and please leave comments. Thank you.